Hi guys, today we'll see how you can check the state of health of a battery of a Nissan Leaf. We have a 2017 30 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf and I'll show you how you can check how good the battery is. First of all, very simple, if you start the car, Nissan allows you to have a rough estimation of how good the battery is with what they call the 12 bars showing the state of health. So it's a maximum of 12 and for example on our today's model only 9 are still there meaning that it lost 3 out of 12 bars. And uh, with uh, this kind of battery so you can see that we have 73 kilometers of range with a 60% uh, state of charge battery which is not not that good for a 30 kilowatt hour version of the Nissan Leaf but if you want to have a more accurate reading of the battery what we will need is to install a specific app and we will have to use an OBD dongle to connect to the vehicle I will show you right away what we will need is an OBD dongle. In my case I have chosen a specific model that is Le Link OBD2. As you can see, so this is what it looks like. And we will need to plug it to the OBD port of the vehicle. In the Nissan Leaf the OBD port is right here. We'll do it together. So I open the access and we will plug the OBD dongle. So as you can see it is instantly connecting to the vehicle and once it is connected we, we will need a specific app that I will show you right away. Now we need a special app to be able to connect to our Nissan Leaf and the app is Leaf Spy. There are several versions so there is the light version, the pro version and Leaf Spy. So in order to check the state of health of the battery uh, the light version is good enough and it's the free version so I suggest that you start with this one and you'll have just to download it. In, in my case I already have it so I will just open it. Let me close it and I will show you what it looks like when we fire it up. Okay. So it will now connect to the car. I'll switch on the leaf. As you can see, and our Leaf Spy app is now connected. As you can see, so the various bars that you see here are the uh, are the cells of the car, and what you need to look for is the difference between the peaks. Uh, so the, the, the cells should be as linear as possible, so they should be very similar in between them. Now what is interesting to check in here, so we'll have uh, the figures in terms of SOH, which stands for state of health. So in our case the state of health of the battery is 68%, meaning that the battery has lost almost 32% from what uh, it was capable to do when new and uh, this is on a 2017 Nissan Leaf so the degradation is quite bad on this battery in fact the 30 kilowatt hour batteries on the Nissan Leafs are known uh, to be quite problematic uh, for, for most of them uh, a software update will solve this issue uh, yet there are some uh, some of these battery packs that are not that great and this is 
as you can see uh, the odometer reading and the odometer reading says uh, 116 thousand and nine hundred kilometers which in fact is uh, approximately seventy thousand miles uh, meaning that we have lost 32 percent um, of state of health uh, within these seventy thousand miles or 116 thousand kilometers You'll have more information here. So, for example, we have the state of charge. So, uh, the level of charging of the battery. It is much more precise than what you'll have on the dash. So, as you can see on the dash, we have 60%. Uh, and if we look on the LeafSpy app, we have the reading which is 57.4%. Another information that is quite interesting here in uh, on this app is uh, the number of charging sessions and you have in fact the quick charging sessions so uh, the QCS so that stands for uh, quick charging in our leaf it's at 159 quick chargers uh, charging sessions and you can also see the information on level 1 and level 2 charging sessions so this is the slow charging and in our case over 2700 uh, of those uh, slower sessions so this uh, this is just some of the key information uh, that you can see with leaf leaf spy and definitely one of the most interesting and important one is uh, definitely the state of health uh, of, of your battery and how um, how good the overall cells are in fact uh, this, ki um, this kind of view will allow you to see if there is one specific cell that is performing not good at all uh, in which case uh, changing replacing um, that specific cell and it will dramatically improve um, the overall performance uh, of the battery. Hope this video was helpful. Shoot me a message in the comments and hopefully uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, bye for now.